what if Alpha Centauri A became our sun? So, Alpha Centauri A is about 1.5 times brighter than the sun here. So let's go ahead and see what sort of chaos it will cause on our solar system and Earth in particular. So there's Alpha Centauri A. It's more massive than our sun as well, slightly larger. So Alpha Centauri A has now replaced the sun. So Earth and Venus are probably going to be our two planets to keep an eye on here. So those two probably get the most dramatic changes. So let's go ahead and view it from Earth's perspective here. So here we go, here is Earth. So let's speed up the time. Watch the average temperature as it increases. And as we can see already going into the 30s, 35, 40, 45, going into the 50s now. Earth is not having a good time here. It's getting very, very warm, 62, 61. So just a 0.5 increase in luminosity from the sun to Alpha Centauri A. That 0.5 luminosity of sun increase, that has caused a dramatic increase on Earth's temperature. It's sitting around the 70 degree mark now, depending on where it is in its orbit. So about 68 to 70 degrees. And poor old Earth. Yeah, not, not so great. Still uh, still retains its water, as we can see. But things are getting very hot here. There's no uh, North and South Pole completely melted away. You can see there's not much uh, vegetation. It's looking pretty brown and ruined. I don't think life's going to be having much of a great, uh, great time on Earth at this point with the Alpha Centauri A star in place. If we go ahead and move to Venus and see how Venus is doing. So here we go. 498 degrees at Venus. It's uh, even hotter than normal. We can see Venus is. <laughs> oh, Venus is not looking great. Look at Venus now. So there it is there. So very, very hot and made the hellish world even more hellish. If we go out and view Mercury as well, again, 216 degrees at Mercury. Nothing too, uh, too crazy. Mars could be an interesting one, but still minus 63 here. Not much increase at Mars. The luminosity hasn't made much of a difference there. And as for the outer planets, they all still remain very, very cold. After even more years of run simulation time, we've probably put another 300 years on the simulation here. We can see Earth. Some of those oceans have evaporated. If we look underneath the clouds and atmosphere here, we can see there's immense flooding in the north. But you can also see there's been some dried up areas. The Mediterranean Ocean has been closed off from the Atlantic there. Not looking great. A lot of northern Europe's been flooded. We look at the USA as well. Again, there's flood in there, but other areas have been uh, South America. A lot of the water has dried up in the uh, rivers and lakes. So not looking very good for Earth at this point. 